When you did The Dirty Dozen, was there a feeling on the set that this was going to become a classic movie? No. Matter of fact, quite the contrary. Um, Robert Aldrich, who was the director, producer of that, um, I had worked for him a number of times before. One of, the, one of the times in a picture called Flight of the Phoenix. Now, Flight of the Phoenix was a good picture, and he really expected high things, good things from it, and it died at the box office. And the, even the critics didn't like it then. They like it now. When The Dirty Dozen came out, we, Dick Jekyll and a bunch of his cronies, would sit around at his house and drink with Bob because that's what he liked to do. He said, I don't know what I've got. He said, I really don't know. He said, I think I'm going to get crucified for that scene where we pour gasoline down the bunkers, but I don't know what I've got. And it turned out to be the mega, mega hit of about two or three years, made him a fortune. So nobody knew. Did you think at the time that was going to become like a classic war movie? No, I had no idea. In fact, Clint Eastwood, I thought, was a big, big star until I found out how he lived. Pickup truck and a dog. And his dog always came by my trail and did one of these jobs, you know. <laughs> I didn't think that was funny, but he kept doing that. You know. <laughs> but I had a wonderful experience. And, and, and Kelly Sears was great. Working with Clint was really great. And uh, he's like De Niro, you know, like full of fun. Yeah. If, you, you know, if you don't have any friends, you call him up. And, <laughs> They nod off while you talk. Hey, Clint, how you doing? Good, good. I did a movie called uh, Kelly's Heroes, and the gopher on that movie was a young fellow named John Landis. He, um, a mash came out when I was over in Yugoslavia. And it uh, became a big success while I was out of the country. And he said, I, and I said to him, you're going to be a director every movie you make until you become successful. I'll be in it. And I'll do it for, you know, whatever. I, so I was in Kentucky Fried Movie. I was in something else. I was a waiter in Kentucky Fried Movie. He phoned me up. I said, I need you for a day in Animal House. I said, fine. I was doing Invasion of the Body Snatchers, so I just had to come over for a weekend. And um, he said, uh, they want to give you 2% of the profits. I said, no way. This is a universal picture. Universal has to pay me my daily rate. So they paid me my daily rate. I got two days daily rate instead of 2% of the profits, which would have been uh, two, three million dollars. Really bright. <laughs> 